What's happening, man? Hey, what's up, brother? Long time no see. Yeah, man, what's been up with you? Man, I just been trying to wake up my brothers to this truth. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're part of the Lost 12 Tribes of Israel. What? Right. We're from the tribe of Judah. Oh, imagine that. Judah, the bow shooter, the iron rod ruler. All nations gonna bow down, even Buddha. Wake up, drink up in the mighty man. Bring the forces of the Gentile riches in. Let the law go forth out Jerusalem. With the power of the most, I take the land. 144,000, they all men. Ain't no turning back now, man. We going in. I was born in the midst of a storm. I was formed to be a servant unto you. To bring Jacob home where he belongs. They could increase over every time. Number one says we must be on one accord. Do not be disruptive. We all must stay on the topic being discussed. Everybody understand that topic being discussed. We have a question about that topic or whatever, and it's going to be a long drawn out thing. Write it down and give it from the panel afterwards. If it can be answered real quick, you know, something like that. But do not be disruptive because you get off point. Study to show yourself approved. We must keep the commandments of Yah and the Messiah. Love and forgiveness of your neighbor. I guess you all understand who your neighbor is. That means your brother. Servants of, your, of the Most High. No cursing or evil speaking in the sanctuary. You must keep the Sabbath day holy. That means all that Sabbath day, keep it holy. So a lot of times people don't know what they can do during the Sabbath day, but it says keep it holy. As long as you're keeping, keeping it about the most high and not your concerns, personal things, and other people's concerns, mm -hmm. keep, it, keep it focused on the most high. Putting the kingdom and a higher first. Number 10, do not blaspheme the Holy Spirit. That is a big one there. That's a big one. And as I mentioned, this list can increase in a point. Yeah, the Bible also says that that's one of the only things that you will not be forgiven for. Exactly. Bless the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Shalom, everybody. Shalom. 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 Um, we'll do a quick um, recap of past lessons to catch everybody up to speed. Um, we know we can learn about the um, 12 tribes of Israel. You know the, the distinction between each tribe, you know, northern kingdom, southern kingdom, you know, who was that rulership at the time, right? Um, the lesson we're leading up to is dangers of being in a carnal mind, being in your flesh. This is a very serious topic. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because we all in danger of that. Again, your flesh wants what it wants. Your flesh does not want to be the Father. It, to it is against Him. And you are sadly mistaken if you think that you got it in control if you are in your flesh. All right? This is why I bring up about fasting. This is very serious. This is so you are not in your flesh, not carnal minded. You end up saying things to people, you end up doing things. But once you say it, you cannot take it back. Put you on. Okay. Right? I constantly tell y'all this. Do not put our father in a position to say something because he will not go back with his word. Please understand that. He is not a man he should lie or have to repent. Everybody turn with me to Galatians 5, chapter 5, 16 through 21. Five. We're going to start at 16 through 21. 
For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. Mm -hmm. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Stop right there. Christians are taking this out of context. <coughs> there is no law against the fruit of the spirit. What we're going to go over in verses 22. There's no law against that. Just a brief, real quick, verse 22. Butch, got it, brother. Okay. You want to grab it, brother? No, you got it, got it. Okay. What's the second? But, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy. Love. Love is very important. Mm -hmm. Messiah taught love. We have to love one another. The problem with Israelites is we love everybody else but ourselves and our people. That's where Israelites make the mistake. We love everybody. We break our neck for the other nations. But when it comes down to your brother, man, you show your behind. Keep going. Joy, peace, long suffering. Joy, peace. Why are you finna be walking around mad and angry all the time? Long suffering, patience. You have that patience with your brothers and your sisters. We all been beat up. We all been tore up. We all coming out the world. Keep going, brother. Gentleness. Gentleness. Meaning. Talk with love and kindness, gentleness. When you go out and preach, you're going to get different types of spirits going to come at you. The Father gave us a gift. Learn how to preach to our brothers. We know the pain we done been in. We can't just come at a brother, you know, you're wrong for this. Listen sometimes. See, see what's wrong. Before you know it, that person may start telling you, man, this is what happened to me. This is why I'm like this. I done been through this. We have to love each other. The Israelites need love. Keep going, bro. Goodness, faith, meekness, temperaments. Against such there is no law. Going back up to faith. We got to have faith. We got to know what we're preaching. We got to know what Yeshua said is true. He said, love your brother. That's not, this is not Christianity. This is not. What's, you just let somebody just, just beat you down and wail on you and everything will be fine. That's not what he's talking about. But you love your brother. Have understanding. Again, be patient. Be gentle with them. Temperaments. Hold your tongue. Know when to speak. Don't say just be silent forever, but know when to talk. Don't get angry the minute they say something. Because you best believe the spirit know how to push your buttons. They watching us all the time. Got something else. We, we all are familiar with, this, with the scripture when it says that Jacob, when he fought with an angel all night. Mm -hmm. Just 30. think how powerful an angel. You know, now that wasn't a literal angel. Now that Jacob fought. That's the flesh. Mm -hmm. The flesh he fought. You know, you fought with his flesh all night to, to do what is right. So you, an angel, he can kill thousands of people. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of thousands. One angel. They're that powerful. So we have to think about that when the comment said that he fought with an angel all night. That, 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 that he fought with his flesh. True. True. Sir. Um, okay. Let's go back to um, verse 19. Now these are the dangers. These are the dangers of the flesh. This is that animal nature. Right? Galatians 5 verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, mm -hmm. fornication, uncleanliness, and lasciviousness. Mm -hmm. Stop. Adultery, fornication. Now a lot of us have heard this a lot, a lot of times about adultery and fornication. Remember, again, adultery necessarily doesn't mean cheating on your wife. You can cheat on the father. You'd be surprised. Certain TV shows. Testimony. Guilty of it. I used to love military shows. It started very small. Next thing you know, oh, it was a. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes.
Shalom. Shalom. We on um, relationship five. Fornication and adultery. Like I said, testimony. Um, my thing was like military shows. I personally had never been to the military, but at the time when I was in the world, I had great respect for people in uniform. And it started very small. It started with 45. Then before I knew it, I had a whole flow full of guns and that's in the arm I had. All kind of crap. But again, that's what happens when a seed is planted. Before you know it, you got a tree. You're looking at a whole tree. Again, it can start very small, brothers and sisters. Before you know it, you nurture it and turn it into something you got to hack down. And you can't just take off fruit and think you're going to get rid of that tree. You can't even just cut the branches off and think that tree is going to be gone. You can even chop the trunk down. That root's still going to be there. It's still there in the ground. You got to dig it up. <coughs> not dig that tree up, that tree will kill you. Alright? Um, keep going. Idolatry. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Adultery. Witchcraft. We talked about witchcraft before in the class. This stuff is real. This ain't no hocus pocus. And y'all heard me say Harry Potter and all that stuff like that. That stuff is Hollywood. Witchcraft and things are real. Wordplay. The language that we speak now, English, it's a lot of Witchcraft is wordplay. You got two words that mean the same thing. Three words that mean the same thing. Plain. How you spell plain? Plain means a plane in the air and a plane in the ground. You know? Let's say if I'm speaking another language, I come in learning English, and somebody tells me, oh, I'm sick, or I'm poisoned, I need an antidote. No, an antidote means writing on the confused. Synonyms. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Confusion. Witchcraft and things, this stuff is real, brothers and sisters. It is real, right? Um, next one, hatred. Hatred. No, no hatred. Again, hatred will kill you. It will kill you. It will fester. It will keep lingering on you. I used to have nightmares about the same thing 10 years straight because I would not forgive somebody in my life. And that person that went on with their life and had a family and I was still harboring that hate Urgh. all night. The demons had a field day with me. They had a field day. Ten years, I had the same nightmare over and over and over again. You know who was suffering? Me. Because everybody else was going on with their life. <laughs> it's real. This is real. The only reason why I'm here right now is because y'all allowed me to be here. Um, let's keep going. Variants. Emulations. Mm -hmm. Emulations. Again, trying to copy out to something else. Only person you can be copying after is Yeshua. Oh, praise. Walking in his footsteps, what he left for us to follow. Again, love. Love. You need love. You're not going to get through them gates if you ain't got love. Let me tell you that now. Because in the kingdom, ain't no place for none of the stuff in the flesh. Ain't no place for uncleanliness. Ain't no place for fornications, adultery, lasciviousness. None of that stuff's going to be in the kingdom. Right? Keep going, brother. Wrath. Strife, seditions, mm -hmm. heresies, mm -hmm. wrath. Again, brothers and sisters, let things go. We all got skeletons. Do not kid yourself. You think that you do not. You have skeletons. We all coming out of the world. <laughs> hmm. It's real. This is real. And again, I keep bringing up them demons because they know you. That's right. They know you. And James, it says about confessing your sins. That means you don't have to tell the whole world. You find somebody that you are confident in and you tell that person. Y'all pray so you can heal. That's how you break that stronghold. Because you best believe that demon is going to bring it out. Somebody, it'll bring it out. Thank you. 
Galatians 5 and we were on verses uh, 20 and 21, right? And again, we're talking about the dangers of the flesh, how dangerous it is, right? Um, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Galatians 5, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Envies, murders. Murders, right? Envies. I'm supposed to envy nobody. Again, we can't take none of this stuff with us that we accumulate here in this, this reality. We ain't gonna take none of this stuff with us. Right? Murderers. Drunkenness. Mm -hmm. Reveling. Stop right there. Drunkenness. It also doesn't mean also with wine. You can be drunk off different literature. You can be drunk off different things in this world. Food. Food. It doesn't necessarily mean being drunk off like alcohol. But again, that's not going to get you in the kingdom being stuck on that bottle. That's going to show cause you to get, you ain't even going to get through the gate. Right? Like, suppose you're going, brother, I got a question for the whole fact. Anybody, what a brother read down the feet of the other spirit, right? And it's manifest in these, the all the fornications. All the the brother read, everybody has to claim something is in this part of the flesh, right? All the others, we're all complaining that we uh, did some of this stuff because that proves that this is talking about us in a time past when we was living in the flesh, but now we are living for the fruits of the spirit. So they bless us that, that about the fruits of the spirit. We must get converted to um, 22 from all this. But I'm gonna tell you, everything he really knows is that in some way, form, or shape, all of us has been one of these, mm -hmm. some of them, all of them. So, so we're, we're all unclean. Some of them, all of All of them. Murderers, right? Hmm. You have to understand something how serious that is about murder. Now, this is not to get confused with within the Ten Commandments. Because some people will come at you like this, they'll say, but our ancestors. Well, we had the law, but why did they went out there and go to war? It's talking about not murdering your brother and your sisters, right? And your nation. Ecclesiastes says there's a time and place for everything, right? That was a time of war. We had no choice but to go fight. But it's talking about murdering your brother. I'm going to tell y'all something, too. You need to be, understand something. You can kill your brother and sister just by speaking the words. I'm guilty of that. I'm not proud of that. You know? We all are. And it's, it's things you can't take back. <laughs> Got a point on that, brother. Yeah. If the, uh, the Most High 
word tells us that if you hate your brother, mm -hmm. you're a murderer. Murderer. Yeah. You are yeah. a murderer. Mm -hmm. If you hate your brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Bible says, so he think it, so, so is he. he. Mm -hmm. So you're going to think he will hate. You're going to say what you're going to You just think he will hate your thoughts. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you are accountable for your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that. You are very accountable for your thoughts. But your tongue is a powerful member. Yeah. It's very powerful. Uttering words out. <clears throat> very dangerous. Um, keep going, brother. Revelings and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahya. Mm -hmm. But the fruit of the Spirit mm -hmm. is love, love, joy, joy, peace, peace, long suffering, means patience, gentleness, mm -hmm. goodness. Faith, mm -hmm. meekness, meekness, temperance, mm -hmm. against such there is no law. Right. And they that and they that are Yeshias have crucified the flesh with the affections of lust. Mm -hmm. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, mm -hmm. provoking one another, envying one another. Uh, keep going, brother. Uh, chapter 6, Galatians. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Mm -hmm. Consider, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Mm -hmm. Do everybody understand what that means? <clears throat> if you don't forgive your brother, you are just as guilty. And you can get tempted in the scene. Mm -hmm. So instead of you forgiving your brother and like, ha, I got you now, all you're going to do is that. You don't even realize, now the father's looking at you. Now you about to get tempted. You don't realize you about to lose your ticket in because you can't forgive your brother. Um, keep going, brother. Bear ye, bear ye one another's burden and and so fulfill the law of the mm -hmm. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Mm -hmm. Do not get high minded, brothers and sisters. Do not count your righteousness as cleanliness. The Father views your clothes as filthy rags. Mm -hmm. That's right. Remember Joshua. Joshua was Israelite. Like he did what he was supposed to do. And we look in the accounts in the Bible. When it was time for him to answer, Satan was right there. He can't go in, he dirty. That happened. That's why Yeshua said, I think I would not accuse you before the Father. There's somebody else that do that. Satan watch everything that you do. If he ain't watching you, one of his servants are watching you. All this stuff gonna get reported. You don't get away with anything. Nothing. Um, hit verse 7 real quick, brother. Verse 7, mm -hmm. Galatians 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man saw that he shall also shall reap again. We are earth. Your body comes from the earth. Keep telling you that. Your body comes from the earth. Same way with plants. Plant that seed, it's going to grow. Whatever you sow, you will reap. If you sow filthiness to your vessel, you're going to put off an odor. You're going to stink. You are going to draw things to you. If you think in this beast mindset, just like the rest of the world, we see them all the time. You can be driving in your car. It's always about them. They'll speed around you just to stop at the stoplight. Where are you going? The stoplight right there. But you just got to have your thing. Somebody can lay a spread of food out. Everybody can eat. Now everybody ate, everybody full. We see that, that's that beast mentality. All in your flesh. I tell you, brothers and sisters, that mindset it will kill you. Being in the flesh, it will kill you. I, and I got a piece of stuff that you just said. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just reading but Genesis, uh, Genesis four and twelve, where it says, "When thou tell someone can they when he slain his brother, mm -hmm. the brother saying, this is a parable telling you that you won't reap what you sow. 
He says, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A future in battle bar, thou shalt be on earth. So when he killed his brother, the earth didn't yield him strength no more. He was cursed the battle bar forever because he, he, he murdered somebody. So that's what brother's talking about right now. You're going to reap what you sow. So everything you do, it's going to come right back on you. You ain't getting away with it. Um, we left off, um, start verse 2, brother. Uh, Galatians 6 and 2. 6 and 2. Uh -huh. Bear ye of one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Mm -hmm. But let every man prove his own work, and then he have, then, then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Mm -hmm. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. Mm -hmm. Be not deceived. Yahiah is not mocked for whosoever, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Mm -hmm. Pay close attention to verses 8. Mm -hmm. For he that soweth to, a, to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So you reap in corruption, your flesh is corrupt again. Now you start to give off that odor. You start to give off that stink. Again, this is spiritual. Keep going. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Life everlasting. Mm -hmm. And let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Mm -hmm. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the household of faith. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. All men. This is about keeping yourself clean, brothers and sisters. Again, we all been done wrong. But we have to remember something too. Why are we in this mess? It's because of what happened to our father. We are answering for our forefathers. We seem to forget him. We said it again, as Israelites, we seem to forget him. We get caught up in knowing that we are the chosen people. And it's a very good feeling knowing that you are important, that somebody on high cares about you. But are we thinking about him? Are we thinking about his feelings? How many times he had to punish us over and over again? See, when we get into it with our brothers and sisters, we have to understand something. Y'all may be fighting, going at it, but who are you really offending? See, who are you really offending? I keep saying things because I want that to sink in y'all's skull. Do not put dad in a position to have to say something. Because if he says something, he's not going to go back on it. Okay? Um, let's go to Romans chapter 8. Therefore, no condemnation to them which are in Amashiach Yeshia, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. One thing about Yeshia that we know, Yeshia walked a fasted lifestyle. Every time he turned around, he was fasting. But he fasted to keep his flesh under control. Okay? You still gonna get attacked. I'm gonna let you know that now. Right? But you have to fast to keep yourself whole. Keep your mind right. Keep yourself on track. Okay? For the law of the spirit of life in Amashiach Yeshayah hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, good Yahiah sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Do not get three mixed up saying that the law is done away. <coughs> the law is here. The law ain't going nowhere. Do not let Christians tell you the law is done away with. Oh, it was flawed. You still have to keep the law to the best of your ability. 
and through Yeshua, all the things are possible, right? So you can't keep the law. Keep it on, brother. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh, but they that are of the spirit, the things of the spirit. See, that's that beast mindset. By the flesh is after the things of the flesh. See, when you talk with people that's of the world, all they can do is respond about the world. Perfect example. You can just talk to a random Israelite, and you talk to them about the kingdom coming, and they may stare at you, they don't know. But if you say something about football, and they say, you know, they flip out, they can tell you stats all the way back to the 70s. Just an example. Like I said, I, the bait for all of us is different. And we're going to go into that, too, about different baits that can hook you. Because we all got different baits. It's like you go fishing, like um, the other player, <laughs> he, he understands this a little bit better. Each fish is different. Each fish don't eat the same thing. This is exactly the same way with us. All of our likes are different. The enemy knows you. They know what you like. They know what you don't like. And they will use that. Sis. Number two, can you go back and just bring up number two again? Yeah. Number two, can you go back and just bring up number two a little bit more? Define. Sure. Um, it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach Yishai has made me free from the law of sin and death. I mean, part two right here means walking after the spirit. You have to stay in the spirit, see. If not, you won't run into the flesh. Okay. Um, going, going back into um, Galatians, you shy and walk after the things of the flesh. You're actually supposed to hate your flesh. When you, perfect example, when you fast, you're actually killing your flesh. I'm sorry. You, you guys don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Is this like a twofold message here? Mm -hmm. no. Everything is, think okay. about the Bible, yeah, everything has like a spiritual side to it. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, so, so could this also mean that, okay, for, so for the law of the spirit of life in Christ, in, in Mahatma have made me free from this law of sin and death. Is that also talking about the sacrificial? The sacrificial, the sacrificial, sacrificial law? law? Well, the thing is about the sacrificial law, we don't offer, you know, animals and goats no more because he was that perfect sacrifice. However, this so right here, this is talking is it, about. Is it that, like, is that saying that there, is that for the law of the spirit of Hamashiach made us free? So he came, mm -hmm. we didn't have to do the law of sin, which right. was. Yeah, alpha and goats and okay. you know, sheep and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um, on top of that, you gotta realize, mm -hmm. it's on God for your spirit, not the flesh. The flesh and blood like it's just king of heaven. Mm -hmm. That's right. spirit will, so that's what we're supposed to live by the spirit now. Not the flesh, because the flesh is corruption. The flesh hate, it's like, hate the commandments, hate the laws. That's why he said, um, for, for um, there is now no condemnation unto them which are in your sight. Who walk not after the flesh. He tell you not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So now we want the spirit to learn everything right now. We're supposed to throw away everything that your flesh is light. All that stuff gone now. It's all about spiritual. And then when that brother said about fasting and fifteen your soul, all that, and put spending time with the with the most high. But we love him. We keep it as his commandments. This is our daily bread right here. This is spiritual. What we do right now is spiritual. This is not common by this class today and Sabbath that we're setting apart. You know, to feed our spirit, not our flesh, but we can buy that buying, selling, and doing everything right now right. that's fleshly, but we're spiritual right now by like getting this bread. You, you just, like it, just like it brings out there, it's a, the Most High sent His Son, yeah. it said, in the likeness of flesh. It said, in the likeness of, of flesh. flesh. Mm -hmm. See, He didn't say, you know, if we're common. See, He yeah. said, in the likeness of flesh. Likeness of flesh. Yeah. Right. But it's a spiritual battle. I mean, with the woman of the world, he said, you know not who you worship. The only worship is shy is spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. exactly. So it's not flesh, it's spirit and truth. When the truth is his word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, verse, um, verse 5 again. Verse 5, Romans 8, verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnal minded is death. To be carnal minded is death. I mean, to be of the flesh is death. It will lead you to the grave. You going, bro? But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Life and peace. As long as you're dwelling on the things of this world, 
you're going to be weighed down by it. This whole system is set up to keep you away from God. Whether it be work, school, anything, you know, and entertainment. You say the well? Mm -hmm. the, everything in this world that's set up, sis, is to keep you away from y'all. Perfect example, video games. That was another thing that I had that I just couldn't shake, you know, until the father woke me up out of that sleep. Now I'm noticing video games, now they had this thing, this endless grind. That means you always plan to upgrade your character. It never ends, it's on and on and on and on. And I'm like, wow, you'll sit there for hours all day, you'll burn a whole day up trying to upgrade your character. This is ridiculous. Video games number was like that. We had Pac-Man and <laughs> stuff like that. You know, it's now next, it's next level it's, that you have to go to in order to be complete. Mm -hmm. Now you play online with people around the world. It never stops. It never gets old. Become addiction. Mm -hmm. What you gonna say? It becomes an addiction. It becomes an addiction. Exactly. It's a lust. It's an adultery. Believe it or not, that's your God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just like I start to say is that. Uh, Satan was there when we were created. So he knew us better than we know ourselves. Mm -hmm. So he, all these things are temptations to us. Mm -hmm. And when it's so tempting, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, well, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's tempting. That's temptation. Mm -hmm. That temptation drives us straight. It starts off a seed. It's a little seed. Um, this, this book right here is, is the Nag Hammadi. I study out various books because we know that they burnt a lot of our books. And um, this one right up at the top, brother. Yeah, and we're going to read down and take our time to go through, through each one. I we went over this once before in class. A lot of our, our writings and stuff were burnt when Jerusalem failed. So you have to study to show yourself approved to find our Father's word, right? Mm -hmm. If it's out there, we will find it. And this is what we do when we come back to our knowledge that we lost. The world never thought that we were going to wake up. The higher, the higher ups, so-called higher ups, they knew we were going to wake up, but they made it harder. I remember last night, like, we were searching to get the feast days right. They knew that. That's why they threw all them blocks, stumbling blocks in there. But we're going to get it right. You know, the whole thing's to slow us down. They know they rule in it, so they got to live it up, right? Then, like, like some of our brethren say, we got next. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 read out the, the Nag Hammadi scriptures. Mm -hmm. Everybody pay close attention <clears throat> to this. Again, like brother, every fish has its own bait. Every fish has its own bait. So we can eat fish? Yeah, as long as it has fins and scales. That's right. Mm -hmm. Like catfish, right? We was taught to eat catfish, right? But the reason why we don't eat catfish is because they eat every nasty thing on the bottom of the ocean. Everything on the tilapia. Well, um, it, it grows up in a garbage type thing. But remember, that you ever, you ever hear what they say? You are what you eat. See, when you eat that fish, whatever's been eating, you can put it in your body. See? Not to get off topic, but the reason why the Father tell you don't eat these certain things is because the stuff that it eats. Crabs. Everybody know crabs is delicious, but crabs are filthy. Right. Right. Keep, um, keep going. This is why we do not fall asleep and forget about the nets hidden from view that are lying in place to catch us. Mm -hmm. For if we are caught in a single net, it will swallow us down within it, and water will wash over us and splash into our faces, and we shall be pulled down into the dragnet. We shall not be able to come up from the deep because the water is high above us flowing down from above, making our hearts sink down in filthy mud. We shall not be able to get away from them. Next. Nets. Satan sets nets out, snares, to capture you. Hit 1 Peter um, chapter 5 and 8. I'll show you what you're talking about. 1 Peter chapter 5 and 8. First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be sober. Be vigilant. Don't be drunk. Now be drunk off the stuff in this world. Mm -hmm. Right? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, mm -hmm. 
walketh about seeking whom he may devour. He walks about trying to devour you, trying to eat you up, trying to take you down. Right. Satan don't come at you with fangs and claws and teeth. Because you're going to do what? You're going to run. He'll come at you subtle. This is how enemies work. Very subtle. The enemies that we're dealing with now, say Esau. Me and my wife was talking about Esau. Esau knows he's not stronger than us when it comes to raw strength, agility. So you sneak tactics. That's how they get you. Use the things that you like. If I know I can't beat a strong man, I'm going to sneak behind him. I'll wait him out. I even befriend him. Smile. Hey, it's all right, man. It's okay. The whole time, he's ready to take you out. That's right. And that's what's been happening to all the Israelites. Right? Oh, uh, I want to get that. So if I think about Genesis when Satan knew Adam and Eve, he knew how to tempt them, right? Mm -hmm. It's a spirit. Everybody do. Everybody has that they got a secret. So nobody got a secret for them. Satan said to watch every one of us every day. Mm -hmm. He write down everything we do. And he go report it. Yeah. And nobody's room got no secret from Satan. Mm -hmm. And he go shout like Job. Mm -hmm. He said, don't you got a head around him? Take the head around by having a cursor to your face. You know everything about Job. Satan right here in this room right now, sitting here watching us, taking notes. Yeah. So we don't have no secrets. Only the only way to clean and stay righteous is the highest said, um, he said that um, have you considered a height for He said, Have you considered my servant Job? He's a right man. He shoot evil. So he not gonna put enough uh, burden on you that you cannot bear. But if you're sinning, you just put him well, you're going to get to what? You're going to reap what you sow. He's going to allow Satan to do what he has to do with you because Satan watching all of us in this room. Every day, every minute, every second, just right reports trying to catch you or anything. And one, one thing, too, that's some real. I just said that's why the Father said meditate on him day, day and, and night. You have to meditate on him. Practice the scriptures, practice. Practice make perfect. If you ain't, if you ain't practicing, you ain't making it. Uh, are we the um, biblical Israelites? We the real Israelites, see. Okay. Remember, it's not no religion. We are blood descendants. It's why we go through the things we do. That's why when you always look at our people, you see them on the streets, their pants hanging down and stuff, we always get locked up. All that scripture. Think about it. It's not natural for a group of people not to advance in hundreds of years. We've been in the same spot. We cry, we march, we sing. Ah, we still in the same spot. That ain't natural. Everybody else getting reparations, we not. Everybody is focused on keeping us right where we at. That ain't natural. You know something else big behind that. Mm -hmm. And people are quick to tell you, oh, this is a white man's book, but it's talking against him. So why would he write his own destruction? Mm -hmm. And right. the chosen people matching us down to the T. They say black everywhere, all the book. Mm -hmm. They say black everywhere, though. Yeah, but the thing is, and, in the past, though, that the whole thing with race, they created race. It's about your nationality. Mm -hmm. It ain't about your skin color. Because so-called African people, they know who we are. They always have. That's why they don't like us. That's what they tell us. You can't come over here, but they let Russians and Chinese and everybody else come over. They make sure they keep us from coming over there. Everybody know. The trick been on us. Well, he said the African people now. Mm -hmm. When you're saying African people, are we referring to the Ham the Hamites? The Hamites, sorry. Yeah, I meant to clear that up. Okay, that well, the Hamites sold, they sold us. Yeah. Even they slavery. Yeah. They were one of the one of the nations that sold us into uh, slavery. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not it's not a skin color thing. So what Satan is trying to do now is the minute you try to say that you're Israelite, oh you racist. Oh you going on. Uh, da, 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 da. That's the new tactic now. Oh you being racist. And you can say all you want. Oh, no, we not. No, yes, you are. You're being racist. We want by scripture what the scriptures say. The other nations have judgment. You can't get out of it. In DOC, we're going to teach the truth. There are going to be strangers that's going to cleave to us. I'm not going to turn them away because I don't know if his father drawing them. But again, I tell you, even if you cleave, that will not get you out of judgment if the father has judgment set for your nation. There's that's no getting out of that. But I'm going to do my part and I'm going to teach the truth. Right. I, I, I like what Brother Glenn said, uh, Hamalites. 
How much? How much? How much? How much? See, for that, that's knowledge for me, for me to go and seek that out and get that understanding. Mm -hmm. Because um, not, I don't know all the tribes to the fullest. Mm -hmm. And so when, when um, um, I'm getting understanding of the word, uh, I'm connecting the dots. The dots. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so that really helped me a lot for you to say that. Because when you when you referencing to the tribes, then you the you know um, the Rurab is ministering to me as you're doing that, you know, and I appreciate that. That's that's good for me. We well, see, uh, everybody thinks well, not everybody. You got most of the world uh, that on the side of the world think that they call us African Americans. Right. African Americans. Yeah, if you got this color kind of skin, they call you African American. That's the biggest thing. African Americans. Mm -hmm. We're not African Americans. Yeah. Yeah. We're Israelites. That's right. We went to Africa because we were running from the Romans. Mm -hmm. cool. And the Hamites were there and they captured most of us and sold us to those different nations that were, you know, like the Greeks and all those, you know. Right. So even the history they teach us in school ain't right. It's false. <laughs> it's false. Think about it. In, 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 um, in high school, right? Um, not to get too off, off the lesson. Um, but in high school, it'll it'll tell you, oh, Black History Month, right? Mm -hmm. It'll go to slavery and stop. Mm -hmm. You never hear anything about us. Why was we in slavery in the first place? Why we was on boats? What tribe we came from? What language? It stopped. Well, nobody know nothing. You can call yourself a Muslim. You can, you can talk this book around all day, sis, and call yourself, I'm a Muslim. Nobody ain't got no problem with you. you if you say you're Ethiopian, they're going to laugh at you. The minute you say you're Israelite, the Bible, here come everybody with books. No, you're not. No, you're not. Everybody angry. Everybody pissed. You, you're going to start to see the truth. Trust me, you're going to start to see the truth. The minute you tell, tell them you're Israelite, the minute you start wrapping your hair, the minute you start wearing a dress, you put on your fringes, watch how everybody look at you. They can't stand you. That's why everybody walk by, they look at us. Wow, they, they actually congregating, they're not fighting. Wow, they, they, they set apart. The Father with us. Yeah, hallelujah. Everybody, they, the heathen, they have read this book. They know how the Father feels about his children. They know. Nobody can't touch us as long as we're doing the commandments. They cannot touch us. Everybody know that. If our father gave a commandment, go tear him up. He can use just us in this room and tear the whole nation up. I'm dead serious. It'd just be us in here. You say, he period here right now, go out there and tear them all up. We go out there and tear them up. Bad handed. That's how the father works. That's scriptural. <laughs> father don't play. He loves us. But if we go against the law, that's when they can whip us up. And we can be strong as we want. We can have the best weapons on the planet. But if we go against this law, we'll fall. I want to say about this book. A lot of people call this book a lot of things. But in Psalm 61, verse 5, this is the heritage. He says, For thou, Yahiah, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. This is our heritage. Because a lot of people call it a lot of different things. You know, but like Brother said, same thing you say, brother, but it's our heritage. They'd stolen our whole heritage. They got rid of it. So it's, it was blind. In Psalm 83, you have that plain thing of tumult and tumult and a confederacy. That is everlasting. That's never gonna stop. As to the what as more we change, they change. What you said is most was, was the most definite thing, positive thing about, about their change. Everything still increased. The more we get, the more the new levels, new devils. Once you get knowledge, the devil's come to steal, kill, and destroy you. So facts still remain the same, and that fasting is very, very, very deep. But at the same time, like you say, brother, study to show thyself approved. Because he still, he still, he still came in and, 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 and um, accounted for us with the Father. That's why we wake up every morning. Supposed to be him. To study, to get ourselves together. Um. Okay, back on the lesson. Satan goes around like a roaring lion seeking to devour, right? Mm -hmm. You ready? Remember, he put out snares, traps. If you get caught in that and you get drugged down, you're done. Go, uh, next one, brother. Um, 
we shall be consumed by man eaters, right? Now we just read he's a lion, right? He goes around seeking to devour like a roaring lion. The next title says we shall be consumed by man eaters. Go ahead, bro. Read that. Man eaters will grab us and consume us. And they will enjoy themselves like a fisherman who is casting a hook and line into the water. For fishermen cast different kinds of bait into the water. Different kinds of bait into the water. Because each kind of fish has its own food. Mm. The fish smells the food and swims after the fragrance of the food. Stop right there. Again, all of us have different types of bait. The enemy knows what you like. So he plants that bait for you. You smell it. And you start heading toward it. Keep going, brother. But when it bites, mm. but when it bites into the baits, the hook hidden within the snare of it and draws it up by force from the deep water. Mm. Nobody can catch the fish down in the deep water mm. unless mm. a fisherman finds a way to trap it. By tricking the fish with food, the fisherman has caught the fish on the hook. Mm. So when he put that bait out there, you don't see that hook in there. That hook that's hidden in that bait, you don't see that hook. Again, that hook starts a chain reaction. It starts manifesting some old things. He's slowly reeling you in. Reeling you in. Until he caught you. The last part of that, right? Sorry, that's it. Nobody can catch the fish that's down in the deep water. You have an understanding that? What that means is that the fish that's down in the deep water, nobody can catch it. This is your deep water. You stay submerged in the Father's Word. You stay in the Spirit. You get in the flesh, you're going to want that bait. You're going to want what's on that. You don't know that hook's in there. The minute you get caught in that hook, he's going to pull you up, he's going to slay you. Brother brought up by the hedge and Job. We got a hedge around us. The enemy can't touch you on that hedge around you. When you go after that bait, you open in that hedge, you know that, right? You giving him permission to come in. You give him permission to come in, he's gonna tell you up. That's all. What that analogy was, if you do deep into the world, you really can't come back to the trip. Like I said, that, that's exactly what that means. You get caught in that dragnet, you drop down into the deep, that's it. You go too far out there, that's it. Once you know this knowledge, there's no going back. That's right. There's no going back once you know this. That's right. It's, what's the quote I'm looking for? Um, you say once you know what? Hmm? Once you say what you want. Once you know this knowledge, sis, there's no going back. You can't go backwards. It's just like that, that movie The Matrix. Once you get unplugged out of the system, you can plug yourself back up. You're not plugging back up. You start hating everything that you do. You start recognizing everything. Right. You start hating everything that's unnatural, mm -hmm. ungood. That's what you recognize. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to Habakkuk chapter 1. One of the little small books, right? We're going to Habakkuk chapter 1. <coughs> um, let's see. Habakkuk chapter 1, 14. So it's a real tiny book. Tiny book. Take time. Yeah. Back of one. You're gonna start at fourteen through seventeen.
Do I have it? Habakkuk 1, verse 14. And make his men as the fishes of the sea, as the creeping things that have no rule over them. They take up all of them with the angle. They catch them in their net and gather them in their drag. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. Therefore, they sacrifice it to their net and burn incense into their drag. Because by them, their portion is fat and their meat is plenteous. Shall they therefore empty their net? and not spare continually to, to slay the nations? Mm -hmm. Again, Satan walks around like a woman lion, <coughs> seeking to devour. You got something to yes. mm -hmm. oh, no. um, Let's move on to the next, next title. It says the adversary tries to poison us with the food of this world. Right? Mm -hmm. We read now the Nagamah.